Salut. In this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about the perfect tense, and this is part two. Um, if you've seen my previous presentation on the perfect, part one, um, it was all about the verbs that use avoir as the auxiliary. In this presentation, we're looking at some other verbs which use être. And we're going to look at reflexive verbs in the perfect tense. And again, you may have seen my previous um, presentation on reflexive verbs. So, although most verbs use avoir as the auxiliary verb, there are certain groups of verbs which use être instead. So, movement verbs, for example, the verb to go, aller, or to return, retourner, to, to enter, entrer. Verbs which include a change of state, for example, to be born, naître, and to die, mourir. And there's a list of common verbs that use être, and you can use Mrs. van der Tramp to help you remember which ones they are. So here's Mrs. van der Tramp. So M stands for monter, and you've got the past participle, monter, which is to go up or get into. Notice that all of the être verbs need to agree with the subject of the sentence. So, for example, if you say I and you're a girl, you would need to add an extra E to the past participle. So monte would be spelt with an extra E. If you were um, a group of people, um, either all male or mixed, then you would need to add S. And if you were a group of only um, girls, you would, have to, you would need to add ES to the past participle. This doesn't happen with avoir verbs, but it does happen with être verbs, so they're slightly more complicated. Okay, the R stands for rester, which is the verb to stay. S is sortir, to go out. V is venir, to come. A is arriver, to arrive. N is naître, to be born. D is descendre, to go down or to get out of. E is entrer, to enter. R is retourner, to return. T is tomber, to fall. R is rentrer, to go back. A is aller, to go. M is mourir, to die. P is partir, to leave. Okay, so if you can remember Mrs. van der Tramp, hopefully you'll find it easy to remember which verbs use être. So here are some examples, and I've given you the verb être um, as a reminder. So, je suis allé au cinéma. I went to the cinema. Tu es resté à la maison. Did you stay at home? Il est arrivé, or elle est arrivée en retard. He or she arrived late. On est tombé par terre. We fell on the floor, or to the floor. Nous sommes rentrés chez nous. We went home or we returned home. Vous êtes monté dans le bus. You got onto the bus. Ils sont venus or elles sont venues de la France. They came from France. Okay, so see if you can do these then. Pit stop test. Can you put the verb which is in infinitive? So number one, you've got aller. Can you form it correctly in the past tense, remembering to use être or part of être as the auxiliary? Pause the presentation, have a go, and then you can restart it for the answers. So number one, je suis allé à la pêche. Je suis allé à la pêche. I went fishing. Number two, ma mère est née en 1979. My mum was born in 1979. Number three. Nous sommes restés dans... We stayed in a hotel. Number four. Mes amis et moi sont montés dans le train. My friends and I got onto the train. And number five. Mes parents sont retournés au même hôtel. My parents returned to the same hotel. Right, so just one other group of verbs which always use être as the auxiliary, that is the reflexive verbs. 
So they work exactly the same in the perfect tense as other verbs, but you've just got to remember to add the reflexive pronoun, which is in blue. So instead of je suis levé, you've got to remember je me suis levé, tu t'es levé, il s'est levé, elle s'est levé, on s'est levé, nous nous sommes levé, vous vous êtes levé, ils se sont levé. Okay, so same thing. The verbs in the past, past participles have to agree. So, vous vous êtes levé with an S or an ES. Ils se sont levé with an S or an ES, and so on. Okay, so let's just test yourselves on that. So, I got up. The verb to get up is se lever. So, pause the presentation, have a go, and then restart for the answers. One, je me suis levé. I got up, male or female. So if you're a girl, you have to put the extra e. Number two, we had a what? Nous nous sommes lavés. So it depends whether the we is a mixture of boys and girls, just boys, or whether it is only girls. Number three, my sister combed her hair. Ma sœur s'est peignée. Okay, and your sister is female, so an extra e on peigné. Number four. My brother and I got dressed. Mon frère et moi, nous sommes habillés. Okay, remember my brother and I, that's like we. So we're going to use the new form. And the reflexive pronoun for nous is nous. So mon frère et moi, nous sommes habillés. And because it's um, a mixture or only masculine, plural, you have an extra S on habillé. And number five, they woke up. Either ils se sont réveillés or elles se sont réveillées. And extra s or an extra es okay if i were you i would i would watch that video again it's not the easiest um tense to understand and also refer back to part one the avoir verbs and i hope that's useful don't forget to subscribe and you'll get future presentations merci bien au revoir